Oftentimes we do these goofy things with politicians that doesn't really matter. But there are times when often they will do it to themselves. They'll say something or they'll do something they shouldn't do. And that's when you see the power that a show like this can have. MP Carolyn Parrish. Carolyn, thank you for having us here. No problem. Well, with Carolyn Parrish, she was in the news, of course, for saying that Americans were morons and uh, she had a really a bad rep and people were talking about it. Would it affect Canada-U.S. relations and all this stuff? So when we went there, the idea was to make amends. You misunderstood, do you think, when you, when you called Americans bastard? No, 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 no. I wasn't misunderstood. The bastard. Uh, but so I, I, what I wasn't doing was calling the Americans that bad name. I was probably directing it at the people in charge of the United States in going to war. Oh, so like George Bush would be a bastard. Probably. He brought the Bush doll in and he had me kiss it and he had me with it on my shoulder and he had me push it between its shoulders and say funny things. During the piece, we're getting some B-roll and our producer, Adam Liley at the time, said, uh, okay, I need you to do a few things and yeah, I don't know, you can step on the doll if you want or something. So she steps on it. Carolyn? Uh, that had to be fed from Ottawa up to the satellite to, be, to get to Halifax. We got on a plane to fly to Halifax. In the meantime, somebody in Ottawa in the newsroom saw footage of Carolyn Parrish stepping on a George Bush doll. So this is before our piece even aired. So when I landed, I got up at CBC, producer Mark Farrell said, what'd you do? What'd you do? And I said, I don't know, what are you talking about? I had no idea what he was talking about. He turns on the TV and Don Newman is there going, we have tape of Carolyn Parrish stepping on the George Bush doll. We turn now to the panel we've assembled, and it was news. Liberal MP Carolyn Parrish talks back. Based on the antics of Carolyn Parrish. What about Miss Parrish squishing the Bush doll? And then I hear one of the panelists say, the only thing that could make this worse is if uh, he had her sticking needles in the doll's head like a voodoo doll. And Don goes, well, actually, I'm told we have footage of that. <laughs> now he wouldn't feel that at all. You can yeah. be, Right now, uh, Dick Cheney's going, what hit me? <laughs> that night on the Nationals, tonight, Parrish the Thought. <laughs> Carolyn Parrish damages Canada-U.S. relations. How will the Prime Minister cope? Will Paul Martin make her step down? It's like, what the hell? Next day, front page of the paper is the, uh, is her, the boot on the doll. I got a call from my staff saying Mr. Martin was looking for me. I was leaving my office in the Justice Building and there's a little green bus there and James Moore, who was just a, a guy in opposition at the time, I got on the bus and in his typical understatement looked at me and says, you're in trouble. And I said, why? And he said, oh, you'll find out. So we got up, got off the bus and the guard at the door looked at me and goes, you're in trouble. And I thought, ooh, I must be. And then I got a call from my staff saying Mr. Martin was looking for me. I really like Carolyn, but she was always in trouble. I love Americans. How the hell does that get in there? <laughs> Does it sound like you? I didn't leave caucus till a couple months later when I said some not so flattering things about Mr. Martin. Mark, I think, had some regrets because he called me after and he said, I would like to see you. I hope I didn't wreck your career and I'd like to give you a gift. So he gave me the original Bush doll, which my grandkids have had a ball playing with. It was a funny way of expressing my deep disappointment in the American president. and. Uh, no regrets at all. Peace, everyone. <laughs>